Hi Bowen Dewe Pute chapter number 2 is in front of you to talk about photosynthesis once again I did not know that photosynthesis is such an interesting subject so we are going to understand the products of photosynthesis okay we learned and we came to know what are the things essential for the photosynthesis in this great 11 science previous videos and in this video number 3 also we are going to learn something very very interesting that's going to be byproducts of photosynthesis is the first one byproducts of photosynthesis and testing for starch in leaves testing for starch in leaves we're going to learn two beautiful things byproducts of photosynthesis and testing for starch in leaves in this beautiful session let's get into that The glucose C6H12O6 produced during photosynthesis will be temporarily stored in leaves as starch. Now, if you are looking at a leaf like this in your garden, you definitely should know one thing that there are glucose in there. The glucose C6H12O6 produced during photosynthesis using four essential things. Chlorophyll is taking the sunlight and trapping the sunlight and helping the carbon dioxide and the water to mix together and helping to produce the glucose C6H2LO6. Now it is temporarily stored in leaves as what? As starch. Voila. So in the leaves there are starch. Now later part of that starch not all the part of the starch is converted into sucrose you can see that one part of that glucose is converted into sucrose that will become c12 h22 o11 and transport into other tissues via phloem so it is in the red color bubble dots it's transporting and it's transporting and and it is transported into other where other tissues where phloem now the sucrose that is transported to now sucrose that is part of the glucose that is transferred that is transforming into the star uh, into sucrose that sucrose that is transported to storing organs storing organs are again stored as starch once again it is stored as starch right that is the interesting part a definite a big mechanism a machine is working when you're looking at a plant just like that you don't see so many transactions happening inside but it is happening inside it's lovely isn't it there is a conversion happening part of the glucose is getting transferred as a uh, yes sucrose and then sucrose once again transferring as suc starch sucrose to starch and then the starch is still stored the starch is stored as fruits vegetable yams leaves and roots whatever you're eating definitely so the byproducts of photosynthesis is oxygen and it's diffused into the atmosphere through this tomato once again now look you know that this tomato is the one which taken the carbon dioxide uh-huh then something very similar to that oxygen is once again diffused carbon dioxide diffused also but oxygen is also getting diffused into the atmosphere once again through this tomato remember that one so photosynthesis can be expressed by word equation as given below you see this carbon dioxide and water come together that's the that is the raw material and chlorophyll is definitely helping the light energy to stuck inside or oh, yes store inside and the glucose is produced and the oxygen is given away now let's put that one in the equation the balanced chemical equation for photosynthesis is 6 co2 it's going to be a gas 6 h2o that's a liquid light energy and chlorophyll essential and it will produce 6 c6 h12o6 as solid and another one is oxygen as gas isn't that lovely so a big transaction is happening there remember this one it's an extra knowledge plants absorb red and blue light of sunlight during photosynthesis plants absorb what color red and blue light of sunlight during photosynthesis so these are the two colors 
the plant this plant is absorbing wow that's new information isn't it now glucose produced during photosynthesis is stored temporarily in leaves as touch we know about it right now therefore it could be tested whether the photosynthesis has taken place or not by doing test for starch we're going to do that one it's a very simple very quickly doable laboratory task we're going to do that one what we need the materials we need a beaker test tube a tripod a bunsen burner little water alcohol and a plant leaf so we're going to do this beautiful experiment right in front of you what we have to do and only four steps in testing a leaf for starch look at this pluck a leaf from a plant which was in the sunlight and boil it in a water you see this one like this pluck a leaf from a plant which was in sunlight you have to have that leaf which is plucked from where sunlight and boil it in the water you have to boil that one in the water just like this now place that leaf in the boiling tube with alcohol and boil the tube in a water water bath now the flame is gone flame is gone but the water is boiled now isn't it so what you're going to do you're going to take the leaf and then what you are supposed to do putting the leaf inside the alcohol and just like this and see what is happening now as chlorophyll dissolve in alcohol the leaf is boiled in an alcohol solution lovely and then the solution becomes green in color and leaf turns to pale color now the solution slowly will change into green color and the, the leaves color also will get little pale not the darker green so the chlorophyll is getting dissolved in that alcohol now earlier we burn we boiled the water and we boiled the water and the leaf is got, got boiled now we taking that leaf and you're putting inside the alcohol and without the fla flame in the boiling water you're boiling the alcohol boiling the leaf inside the alcohol now as alcohol is highly inflammable it is boiled in in a water bath that's the reason we are boiling that one in the water bath not with the flame next wash the leaf and put few drops of iodine solution into it and observe the color change yeah if the leaf turns into blue or dark purple once iodine is added we can conclude that starch is present in the leaf in this particular experiment you can see that starch is present in that leaf because it's turned into a blue or dark purple color again i'm repeating the plucking a leaf from a plant which was in the sunlight and boiling that in a water that's step number one then without the flame you're going to take that leaf outside and then what happens place that leaf in the boiling tube with alcohol and boil the tube in a water bath for a few minutes then as chlorophyll dissolves in alcohol the leaf is boiled in an alcohol solution and then the solution becomes green in color and leaf turns to pale color as alcohol is highly inflammable it is boiled in water bath not in the bunsen burner next wash the leaf and put a few drops of iodine solution into it and observe the color change if the leaf turns to blue or dark purple once iodine is added we can conclude that starch is present in the leaf right what did we learn in this video yes we definitely learn by products of the photosynthesis by products of the photosynthesis and then we did a testing for starch in leaves that's all for the session and i'm going to meet you in another beautiful session till then bye bye take care of yourself